What if your surgeon could practice your procedure before going into the operating room? An innovation team in Phoenix, Arizona is 3D printing the spines of patients who have severe scoliosis so there are no surprises on operation day. Shelley Botot reports in Health Watch. Spinal surgeons are using 3D printers before complicated operations to get it exactly right. Megan Johansson was diagnosed with scoliosis at age nine. When her fourth child turned three years old, her spine collapsed to a 90 degree bend. I couldn't breathe and I was starting to have really bad heart palpitations where it just felt like it was going to be beating out my chest or it would just like seize up. She knew she finally needed surgery. This is the exact same model as this, but this is after we've already operated on it. Surgeons at Barrow Neurological Institute use CT and MRI scans to make 3D models of patient spines before surgery. We know how to print these spines in such a way that um, we'll get the same tissue quality in the spine and the same biomechanical performance of the spine model as we would expect to in the patient. That really helps with complicated cases like Megan's. Her pedicle bones on the inside curves are small for screws to straighten her spine. After working with the model, surgeons changed their plan and didn't put them in. It gives us an opportunity to rehearse the case, to practice the plan that we have going into it and say, is this going to work or not? Do we need to revise our plan? Megan had been told her surgery would be 12 hours long and her spine only corrected to about 50 degrees. When I woke up from surgery five hours later, I was only 13 degrees and five inches taller and it was a, it was a miracle. Here's her spine before surgery and after. She still has some pain, but she's working again and even hiking with her family. It costs 50 to $70 to print a 3D model of a spine. Besides helping surgeons before operations, the models are used regularly in surgeon training and education for patients. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.